Hi, I'm Sarah from Heirloom Creations, and this is our Ruler of the Month. How many of you have shied away from doing an attic window because you don't want to do a Y seam? Well, this is going to be unbelievable. From Cheryl Phillips is the new attic window ruler that will cut six different sizes and no Y seams. And here's why it works. Look. I can put my fingers in here. This is a 3D attic window. So let me show you what it's actually gonna look like. And look, you can actually fussy cut something into your window. So what's hiding in your window? And what we're gonna do is we're going to cut a piece fold, that's like a triangle, fold it, and insert it into two half square triangles. Once you've sewed that seam, then you open it up and press your square into place. Are you ready to see how this works? As you look at the ruler, you will notice that there are six different squares from a small two and a quarter inch window all the way up to a three and a half inch window. So you can fussy cut flowers, designs, embroidery designs, you name it, you can have fun with this. So I'm gonna do the three and a half inch square. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that over this little cat in the hat. And since he actually is a little bit taller, but I want his feet to fit, everybody knows his hat is red. So we are going to cut off a little bit of that. This is gonna be the largest size, so with that I'm gonna just go right around the edges. and cut my fabric out. I'm gonna turn it to get my exact edge here. And then you'll see how this actually looks. Once you have your design cut out, you're gonna fold it in half. So the cat's gonna look a little squished right now, but once we get that sewn in, he's gonna come out later into the square. Now the pattern will dis tell you what size of half square triangles you need for these attic windows to be set into. So we're gonna go ahead and place this here. Just fold it right along the edge. You can kind of finger press it, just enough to kind of get that to stay. Match that up with the corner of one of your half square triangles and then just go ahead and take your other half square triangle and pin it in place and stitch your quarter inch seam allowance all the way down. That is what's going to be your square. And once you've done this one seam, your square is done. So it doesn't, it actually goes very, very quick. So once that's done, we'll open that up. But what if you wanted to cut something out a little bit smaller so we can show you how that will actually be, let's see here, we will find a little kitty here, a smaller picture. How about we'll just frame his face using the two and a quarter inch size. So we'll still cut the outside 90 degrees. Like that. But to get this to actually work, we're gonna move this so the dotted line that says two and a quarter is going to be up at this corner and now we're gonna cut all the way across. So we get a smaller size that we're working with. So I'm gonna just flip this around. So you can decide what size of blocks you want and be able to frame the perfect design. And now that little guy will match with smaller half square triangles. And then when he comes out, he will be just right. Isn't that adorable? You will be able to do so many different sizes with this wonderful attic window from heirloomcreations.net.